what's crack it's Vangelina Scov and today I really need a break from TikTokers that I can't tell apart from each other and influencers who just won't put on masks. So in today's video we're going to be talking about something completely different. I think my voice might have broken at the start of that sentence but I'm just going to leave it in the way it is. <laughs> now in today's video we're not going to be talking about a TikToker, an influencer, a YouTuber, although maybe they count as an influencer, perhaps? Uh, I mean the LA influencers. Now today we're going to be talking about a cosplayer. Specifically, we're going to be talking about Lori Lude and her history of drama. But before we get into that, please subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications when I upload. And if you'd like to, you can also check out the Patreon or the memberships with the links in the description. You can get extra benefits and fun things like bloopers reels, of which I think from this video there's going to be many because I can't, I can't speak today. <laughs> For whatever reason. <laughs> right, so just to preface this by saying I'm not going to be talking about every single drama, controversy, scandal that Laurie's been involved in because she's been around for about 20 years at least and there's been a lot of them. So I'm just going to give you an overview of the main ones or at least the main ones that I know about. And we won't be going into too much detail of every situation because if we do that this video will be at least an hour long, probably two, and I don't have that kind of time and nobody wants to sit through a video that long. <laughs> right, so like I already said, Laurie Lude is a cosplayer. She got started with doing Sailor Moon cosplays and got so into them that she was convinced that she was the character she was cosplaying. At least she said she was. I don't know if she actually believed that or not. And this happened with several characters that she would cosplay. She wouldn't do this with all of them, obviously, but with some of them, she'd be like, yep, yeah, I am this character. And then when other people would cosplay that character, she would say that they were copying her. And this goes on for years, by the way, from the beginning of her cosplaying days up until now. But anyway, back at the beginning, in the early 2000s, she formed a group called the Cool Oh, clan. I, I genuinely don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Uh, but all of the letters begin with a K. She called the group the KKK. That just seems like a bad idea to me. I don't know if it was supposed to be like a joke, but it's not particularly funny or clever. But this group was dedicated to cosplay. They weren't doing any kind of shady racist things. Now she was the leader of this group. They would defend her against all these people that were attacking her all the time for reasons they didn't really understand. But people were generally attacking Lori for her bad behavior towards them and insulting them and expecting things from them. Unreasonable things. Now she did treat the members of this group quite badly as well but I think one of the biggest things that happened was that one of the members of this group was allegedly sexual by Laurie's husband at the time. And this person went to Laurie, told her what had happened, wanted help, and Laurie's reaction to that was to laugh at the person and tell them that they should go kill themselves by taking pills. And from my understanding of the situation, I'm not 100% on whether this is true or not, but from my understanding that person did in fact attempt to but was okay. Lived. Needless to say, a while later, the group dropped her. They sort of held a mutiny against her in a way, although she wasn't drawn and quartered or anything like that, clearly. I don't know why I said that so seriously. <laughs> and that was pretty much the end of everything with that group. I mean, there was a lot of other things that happened that went on, uh, but I'm not going to go into that because that'll take a long time. I can maybe go into it in another video if you want, so just let me know if you do. If you don't, grand. Now let's get into some other issues. Clearly, as a cosplayer, Lori went to a lot of cosplay conventions and competed and things like that. But she ended up getting banned from a couple of conventions for lying about making her own costumes and competing under the guise that she had made them. And you can imagine that as a cosplayer in the cosplay world, getting banned from these conventions or being disqualified from competition for something like that is a huge deal. But you know, she kept on doing cosplay, all that, mostly focusing on online stuff. Speaking of online stuff, I think back in the day her main social media would have been Facebook, which it was for a lot of people at the time. Now it's Instagram and OnlyFans. But a couple of years ago she was still on Instagram and she would post photos with tags that were veering on Pro Anna. And I've seen a lot of people say that she was part of the Pro Anna community. I haven't actually seen proper evidence of that besides the pictures she posted with the hashtags. There were tags like things like under 100 pounds. I am going to point out as well because I feel like this is important as uh, she is five feet tall. So under 100 pounds isn't as drastic as it would be for somebody who's 5'7 or something like that. But that tag is a Pro Anna tag. And the only other way you could look at it is some kind of fetish thing, which isn't much better. And if we continue on to her current day use of social media and promoting herself, she's still doing cosplay. She's got quite a big Instagram following. And a lot of people have claimed that she's face tuning herself to look younger, but she won't admit to using Facetune. She keeps saying, oh, 
I look 22, I look like I'm in my 20s. I forgot to mention she is 35. But yeah, she says she has superior genes, she has vampire genetics, it makes her look younger. She just looks really young and people are just jealous of her. So straight up won't say I use any kind of filters or face tuning or Photoshop, but like... <laughs> She does use it, right? <laughs> I do want to say as well, personally, I have no issue with Facetune. I just think, you know, if you're going to use it, say you're using it. And if we're to go on her saying she looks really young, she looks like she's in her 20s, she also talks about how beautiful she is and all that. Nothing wrong with that. But then she goes and calls other women ugly a lot. It's quite concerning, actually. Now I'm going to veer off her online presence for a second. Only slightly. A lot of this is all online. And talk about her relationships. She has been in a lot of relationships. She's been married, I believe, three times. That's fine. I'm not judging the amount of relationships somebody has. But in almost all of them, she's been accused of cheating, of manipulating them, of abusing them, mistreating them, a lot of different claims. And she's currently in a relationship with somebody called Kevin. Now, their relationship is very concerning because it seems like she is physically and emotionally him. She made him cut off all of his female friends so that she wouldn't have to worry about them, even though they were just friends. But she doesn't have to do the same thing. And she allegedly has cheated on him multiple times as well. And at one point she told him to cut himself to prove his loyalty to her, which he did do. I'm obviously not going to show that picture because... Obviously, but the picture is online. Now, a lot of people have taken issue with the fact that Kevin dropped out of college to get a job to support her. So he works full time. She obviously does OnlyFans and makes money that way. But he has said that they're struggling with debt while she goes off and buys whatever it is that she wants to buy, pays for to get her nails done, new wigs, hair extensions, getting the most expensive phone, a lot of stuff like that. Now, there are countless other issues that have been brought up about their relationship, but those are just the main ones that I want to touch on for now. Because again, if I'm to talk about everything, it's just going to go on forever. And I think that's where I want to leave today's video. There is so much more that I could talk about in relation to this person, but um, I think this is a brief enough introduction to her. If you do want me to do another video, just let me know in the comments and I will. I'll do like a part two or I can do bigger explanations of certain parts. Just, just let me know what you want. If nobody wants it, then I won't bother doing it. And you can also let me know in the comments what you think about this whole situation. And if you don't want to comment about that, then let me know what your star sign is, your sun sign, because I'd love to know. I'm a Cancerian. <laughs> I was supposed to be a Leo, uh, but I was born three weeks early, so I'm a Cancer. <laughs> What you gonna do? <laughs> Nothing wrong with being a cancer. I don't know why I said it like that. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for me for now. So as I said at the start of the video, please subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications when I upload. And if you'd like to, you can also check out the Patreon or the memberships with the links in the description. Really appreciate it if you do that. And you can also follow me on social media. I would specifically love if you would follow me on Instagram. Thank you. I'm like very very far away from this, but at some point I would really like to get 10,000 followers just so I can have that swipe up feature because it's annoying not having that. Everybody else has that and I want to be able to link things. <laughs> I should stop doing this. <laughs> like, comment, share and do all the things that I'm supposed to ask you to do at the end of the video and have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.